I don't think this is being talked about enough, especially now that the energy prices in the United Kingdom is going crazy. You know, like understanding your bills, what can you do to make it cheaper and all of that. I don't think this is being talked about enough. And this is why I brought you guys some cookies to understand what is going on with your energy bills. Stay tuned, guys. <music> welcome back to the channel thank you so much for all the love and the support i see that this family is growing and you know sometimes i come back to the the, the page in the morning and i'm like ah you guys are you guys are the are the bomb literally so today i just thought i was just like thinking like every time every time i've had to get in contact so for you guys that don't know i currently work in an energy company so these tips that i want to share with you guys is not something that I is yes it's something that I know this because this is where I work right and most of the times I have had to get in contact with you know like Nigerian customers Indian customers basically foreigners right people don't and um, people don't understand what is going on you know they just believe oh let me receive my bill and I will pay and all of that so that's why I said to myself that okay I think this is something that should be discussed right and also if you don't know there was a price increase in April and there's another price in increase that is going to happen in october so in this video i'm going to be sharing tips on what you can do to make your energy bills you know cheaper and, and you know everything to just ensure that you're not paying too much however if you are someone that lives in an apartment that is all bills inclusive you know you don't have to worry about that but if you are someone that you pay your electricity and your gas bill this video is for you just before we jump into this video i want to just quickly mention that if you are in nigeria in the uk and then you are watching this video there's going to be um, a hangout at South End, um, South End Beach uh, Excess on the 20th of August. I'm going to put the flyer somewhere in this video. You know, you, if you can just go on Twitter and hashtag find, hashtag find Nigerians in the UK and you have more details about this video, I am going to be there and it's going to be fun filled and all of that. Now, let's go into the video of today. So basically, the first thing, so you are someone who just moved into this country, right? And you're moving into an apartment that is not all abuse inclusive. That means you'll be paying your electricity and your gas bill. What is the first thing that you should do once you move into this apartment? Please, I beg you, the first thing you should do is ask the landlord or the estate agent, you know, whoever is in charge of that apartment, that where is your 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 meters you want to see your electricity and your gas meters for some houses they don't have gas because everything is electricity so whichever the case may be ask them to see the meter and what you want to do is you want to take a picture right please take a very good clear picture of the meters this is so that we can you know the meter reading can be recorded from when you moved in so that you don't pay for what you did not use right so take a good picture of the old meter box that we capture the serial number and the meter reading right once you've done that keep that on your phone now the next thing you want to do is you want to ask the estate agent or you know the landlord who is the supplier of the address right once you know who the supplier is um they would what you would do next is contact the supplier right and then once you contact them you will let them know oh this is when i moved in and you have picture of your meter reading and all of that so they will get your account set up and get your account running right However, I also want to mention that once you once you move into a new apartment, you'll most likely be put on the variable tariff. So for people that don't know, in this country, there are two types of tariff. It's either you are on a fixed tariff and you're on a variable tariff, right? So fixed tariff basically means that the unit rate and the standing charge, I'm going to come to that, is going to remain fixed for the period of for the period of the time that you signed the contract. So let's say it's for one year. It means that your, your unit rate and your standing charge will not will not change for that one year year however for with the variable tariff it simply means that so you see the way um price increase happened in april it means that your unit rate and standing charge will go up and then another one happening in october it means that your unit rate and your standing charge will also go up right so that's the difference right however now presently due to the energy crisis i don't know some of you might have heard of martin lewis it is not advisable to go on a fixed tariff right now if you have locked down your fixed tariff just before the energy price increase happened, then you are very lucky. However, if you're on a variable tariff and you're thinking that you want to go on a fixed tariff right now, I would not advise anybody to do that because it's 
relatively more expensive um the variable tariff is in is in line with what um of them so of them is the body that regulates the prices of electricity and gas in the united kingdom right so it's relatively in in line with the price cap that the of them have put in place right so i've said once you move in take a picture of your meter call your energy supplier right and let them register you and all of that so now basically I often see that people people misinterpret that when, when they are on fixed tariff, right? They think that, oh, they've told us that the direct debit that we are going to be paying is £100. So no matter the energy I use, I am still going to pay £100 a month. This is where people mix, um, you know, mix it up. Now, when you're signing on to your fixed tariff, basically they will tell you this is your proposed direct debit. It doesn't mean that is what is going to be forever. Your bills every month is going to be based on your consumption, your usage, right? And this is where it is very important. We all need to watch our usage. You would think that, oh, you're on a fixed tariff. They said I will pay £100 and it's whatever I use. Like, this is what I have noticed with people. They think that, oh, they've told them it's £100 a month, whatever I use. That is not so. And that is why bills are being generated every month. For some energy suppliers, it's, it's um, quarterly, so it's... Four, you will receive four bills in a year, right? So basically, what you need to do is you need to watch your usage, right? You don't want to be burning electricity too much. You don't want to be turning on too, um, too much light. You don't want to be cooking where you're not supposed to be cooking and all of that, right? Another mistake that people make is that, oh, they think that it's not important to submit meter reading because, you know, they will just um, they will just give you your bill, right? It is very, very, very important to submit your meter reading. And this goes to people that, you know, they do not have smart meter, right? So if you have smart meter and you've confirmed from your energy supplier that they are getting meter reading automatically, then you don't need to submit um, your meter reading. However, if you get in contact with your supplier and they tell you that, Mm, your smart meter is not sending them read please ensure that you submit your meter reading every month and also for people that do not have smart meter it is very important to submit smart um, to submit meter reading every month this is because if you do not submit they will go ahead and use estimates and if you know well estimates is either too much or too little now the two of them they have consequences the only good part is that if you're being estimated or um, if you're being overestimated it means that they are overcharging you the day that you will not submit your meter reading, you, it, they will realize that they've been overcharging you. And in your next statement, they will pay you back what they've been overcharging. However, if it has been the case that they've been undercharging you, the day you will go and submit your meter reading, they will now realize that, oh, we've been over undercharging this person and your next bill is going to be a big bill. So in order to avoid this, you understand, please submit your meter reading every month. Most of these um, energy suppliers, they have online accounts. So you don't necessarily have to call them. You can submit your meter reading on your online account yourself every month. And another thing you want to ask your supplier is, which day is the best day to submit your meter reading? If it varies for everybody, so they will let you know. And then they will use that to prepare your bill, right? So what are the tips? Call your, call your energy supplier, get your account sorted, and then take picture of your first meter reading when you moved in submit your meter reading monthly and another tip that i want to share is people just receive their bills they don't look at it please pay attention to your bill you understand anything that you don't understand please please and please call your energy supplier they are there to help you and all of that and also the last thing that i want to say is that we need to all watch our usage we are, yeah especially now that it is, it is in summer you know usage are usually low and for some people, you might be building up some credit in your account, which is really good for you, you know, because you might use that credit in winter. Everybody knows that usage in winter is always very high. So if you are someone that you just moved to this country, and you're wondering what is going on in your statement and all of that. So basically, this is how they arrive by your statement. They will look at your consumption every month. They will multiply it by the unit rate. So the unit rate is how much you pay for it per kilowatt hour that you use that's for your consumption then they will charge you standing charge standing charge is the cost of having that meter in your house it, like the cost of the energy supplier having that meter in your house and then they will charge VAT. so that's basically what makes up your 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 statement so it's very important that you watch your usage and then you submit your meter reading every month so that you don't get overestimated or underestimated so i just thought that i should come and share this few tips with you guys and i hope that this video would help someone out there and then i'll see you guys in the next video ciao